Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Friday, February the 7th, and welcome to our video commentary. You know, it's been a pretty amazing week for President Trump, and it pretty much started with the State of the Union, and then it uh, went on with the, uh, with the acquittal, and then some rather amazing economic figures that came out next week, and even a, a very favorable ruling by a judge regarding uh, attempts to go after his business uh, practices in the past. So it's really been an amazing week, and uh, it, it really positions the president uh, for a very strong re-election, really, if things continue in this fashion. It also helps the president that there's so much chaos over on the Democratic side. I mean, what happened in Iowa was a joke, and, and uh, then, of course, you have uh, New Hampshire coming up, and it, it just doesn't seem to be getting any better for for the Democrats anytime soon. So it's been a great week for the president, and that's about all you can say uh, regarding that. Now, I do think it's interesting that the latest, uh, you know, odds, if you will, down in Vegas, they have the, these odds for who is going to be reelected president, and President Trump at the moment, at the moment has a 60% chance of reelection. Well, I think it all adds up, you know. Good economic uh, report, an excellent uh, State of the Union, and, of course, uh, uh, an opposition that can't seem to get its act together. It's all beginning to look a little bit like 1972, for those of us old enough to remember that one. That was the year, of course, that Richard Nixon was reelected with 49 states against uh, an extremely weak Democrat named George McGovern. So, great week for President Trump. And if he has more of these, I'm pretty sure he's going to be uh, reelected quite uh, easily. Thank you for watching. Uh, we have all of these on YouTube, on Twitter, and on my blog. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.